to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Trying to lay one up deep. And too much on that one. It's out of the back of the end zone, incomplete. Back now in Arlington. It's the Cowboys in possession of the football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. So the offense needing four yards. It's third down. Prescott from the gun on third. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it. Trying to get those rack yards before he secured it. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Prescott. And on the left side, he's got Wilton. And he gets this down to the 18. Good enough for a first down. That one good for 12 yards. And on fourth down, they're able to convert and move the sticks. in the red zone this time. Black round, black round. Here we go. 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 One man on the backfield, Elliott. Go. On the end around, here comes Williams. And he is gonna lose yardage here. That's gonna go as a loss of two and it'll be second down. And yet again, this run game just continues to be completely shut off. Completely stymied. I mean, they're trying to get some consistency, trying to find places Ohio, to roam. Ohio. They just haven't been there throughout this game. Here we go. Here we go. White Ohio. White Ohio. A second down throw for Prescott. This will be caught inside the 10. And he's able to work it here to the 8-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 12 yards. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Just a three-point game now as they send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. To throw is Breeze. He goes underneath to Ingram. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he stopped immediately there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. They're going to hurry back to the line now. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. That one good for 10 yards. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. 
And there, the man coverage, not good enough, partner, and they're able to complete the pass. Excellent recognition of the man coverage, and they found the guy who could win downfield. And they'll move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. The Saints do snap it. It's Breeze. He finds Coleman. 17 yards on the pickup. And they're able to pick up the conversion here on fourth down. They only needed that one yard going for it on fourth. I got to be honest. I thought they were going to stay on the ground. They surprised me. Did they surprise you? I'm with you on that one. I thought they'd find And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. Breeze gives it up to Ingram. And he's going to take it down to about the 35 here. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it third down. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Throwing now is Breeze. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trait. Oh, no, he lost the football. That's picked up by the Cowboys. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run, pass, mix, and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, Maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action, and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find Here out. Here we go. Red 38. Ahead. He'll look to throw. Yeah, quick throw here. That's complete. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Let's go. Red ahead. Back to throw. And oh. A crusher there as it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. They have the three-point lead. Defense did their job. Now, late game. Although it looks good, you know the coaches, they haven't counted this as a victory yet. I agree with you totally. Big applause for the defense, but no one is taking their headset off on the sidelines. They don't believe this game is over. The offense has to close this one out by taking care of the football. And now a timeout called by the Cowboys defense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. gonna throw here and he can't get a throw off he's taken down what a huge play at this point in the game well there was second long now it's third and even longer they're going in the wrong direction here because they're moving exactly the way they want to but you're exactly right definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys I spy a couple of extra defensive backs on the field for Dallas. Cowboys in the dime on third. Now Breeze. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. 
It looked like they had something there, but I think that he was thinking about running with the football before he actually hauled it in, and that led to a big drop. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. They're only in need of a field goal. A decent amount of time on the clock. So tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this is where your preparation and your confidence comes into play. They've worked on these situations. Yeah, they practice this all the time. Oh, they practice they? it all the time. They know what they want to get done. And in a lot of cases, the great competitors, they love this situation. They think they can go ahead and get it done. They practiced it. We'll see if practice makes perfect. And they can't get the long connection as it falls incomplete. Able to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. Ohio, Ohio. Looking to jam the receivers Ohio, at the go. line here. Nine. Press coverage look defensively. The defensive line disperses a little bit here, maybe expecting a pass. Back to throw. He's got the connection to Cole Beasley. And he's brought down after a good gain. And a nice gain of 21 yards. And quickly, they get to the line. Really nice connection on the corner route. This is a play where the receiver wants to set up the defensive back by moving him inside and then breaking back to the corner. Give him 13 on the pick up there. And it'll be first down, Cowboys. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. He's back to throw. A dump off to Elliott. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. It's a gain of five. And it'll bring up a second down. And they're going to speed things up here. They'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Stopping the clock with five seconds to go. One last shot now for Prescott. Flushed out right. He's going to let it fly. And this is incomplete. So no miracles here on the final play. And this ball game is over. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long from Big D.